doing this to us? They make us look crazy. That's not who they blame. I go, why do they think you're crazy? They go, it's not us. I go, who is it? They go, it's the fucking Saudis. They always blame you. I go, why do you blame the Saudis? Because they are crazy. You know Bin Laden? I don't know Bin Laden, first of all, all right? I... He's Saudi. Fucking crazy. So it's your fault. They keep trying to sell Dubai to us. That's, that's always funny to me. And whenever they try to sell Dubai in the commercials, they always make it look so glamorous. And it's always like a British voiceover or an American voiceover. Like, come on down to Dubai for the World Shopping Festival. Stay in the beautiful seven-star Jumeirah Beach Hotel. See the world's tallest building. Stay on the beautiful Palm Island. I'm like, ooh, that sounds good. And then I'm in like Lebanon and I asked around. I go, they go, where were you before this? I go, I was in Dubai. Wait, it's stupid. I go, what do you mean it's stupid? They do dumb things. What do you mean they do dumb things? They have the tallest building in the world. It's empty. It's like having fastest car with no engine. They have a seven-star hotel. When did five become not enough? I go, they made an island that looks like a palm tree. You got to admit, that's kind of impressive. Yes, that's a good idea. Only wrong tree. What do you mean, wrong tree? You see, Russell, there is a reason you never hear an Arab voice advertising this tree. Which tree? The palm tree? Yes. Why won't you say it? Because there is no P in the Arabic alphabet. The P is a B. Nobody wants to stay on bomb tree. Okay, aside from that, isn't that a cool idea? Palm tree island? No, it's only good if you are flying over. Then you look down and you go, hey look, bomb tree. But you go to bomb tree island, now you're on the island, you don't see bomb tree anymore. Hey, now I'm on shitty sand barge in the middle of the ocean. When you go there, you find out where the hot spots are to party. Have you been, ever been back to the Middle East at all, Iraqi guy? Sorry? Just Edgeware Road, what'd you say? Right. <laughs> Sorry, Bayswater Road, that's... Yep, how's that bladder working out for you? Good? You know, if your jeans weren't so tight, you wouldn't have to pee so much. <coughs> all right, mate, just go piss. His girlfriend's like, please don't come back, please don't come back. <laughs> you go to the Middle East, you find out that Lebanon is the place to go. Did you go to Lebanon? That's the party place, isn't it? That's where everybody goes. That's their Vegas. And everybody kept telling me before I went to Lebanon, they were like, Oh, Russell, when you go to Lebanon, it's party. It's the best party you'll ever have. Best what? Best party. I don't know what a party is, but I'm going to trust you on this one. And let me tell you something, it was, it was the best time I ever had. It was like in Lebanon, it, it was, it was crazy, like the shit, like it's not even like, wow, they were just nuts, it was just like a good vibe, it was like a fun time. I remember I, I did my shows there, and after the shows, these four Lebanese dudes roll up, and they're like, hey, great show, Russell, uh, you want to go party? I go, I, if I have to go party, I will, thank you. Um, no, party, we go to nightclub, you want to go? I go, yeah, sure. Four Arab fellows whom I've never met before. <laughs> Let me assist you in my own abduction. So, I... I get in the car with these four guys, because I'm an idiot, right? I get in the car, but I get stuck in the middle seat in the back, which is even worse. Now, I, and we start driving to this nightclub, right? And, uh... Now, here's the thing. You put five guys in a car, or rather four that can speak the same language, and... You put four guys in a car that are going to a nightclub, and it's going to sound rowdy. Even if you don't understand the language, it's going to sound rowdy because four guys gone the way to a nightclub is like, it's going to be off the fucking chain. We're going to get bottle service. There's going to be bitches, 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 and that's all you think. But then you add the fact that they're all speaking Arabic, and they're probably saying the same shit. But if you don't understand it, it sounds fucking aggressive. And I'm in the back seat, and all I hear is. <laughs> And I start panicking because I'm thinking, holy shit, they're arguing as to who's going to kill me. <laughs> I'm thinking they're going, no, I killed this one. I killed the last one. You killed this one. I don't want to kill him. You killed this one. 
And especially in Lebanon, I don't even think they're speaking Arabic properly. And all I keep hearing is Habibi. That's all I keep hearing. No, no, Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. Habibi, Habibi. Ah, Habibi, I want you to meet my brother Habib. Habib, Habibi, 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 So I try to turn the conversation back to English and I go, so uh, guys, well, well, tell me about the nightclub. You're going to love it, it's beautiful. Okay, well tell me about it. It's bomb shelter. <laughs> I go, that's hilarious, what do you mean? It, it's bomb shelter. We're going to a nightclub called bomb shelter? It's bomb shelter, yeah. I go, don't you think that's hilarious? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? It's, we're in Beirut. We're going to a place called Bomb Shelter. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it funny? I go, it's ironic. It's like going to India and going to a nightclub called Diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. Come on down to Diarrhea. It's the shit.